Hey guys, Mitko here from DN Models. Today we are testing one of the Mr. Hobby airbrushes with 0.2mm nozzle called Procon Boy FWA. This is the notorious PS270 Platinum. It is a high precision tool from Japan and even though not that popular as Iwata or Harder and Steinbeck, it is one that deserves attention. The boxing that it comes in is rather modest. We have a soft cardboardish casing with a transparent opening on the top. On the sides of that minimalistic box we have description of the parts included in this particular set. Some information in Japanese and some other items offered by Mr. Hobby like compressors, air regulators and of course paints from Mr. Color and Mr. Aquis are included here. Naturally it is proudly stated that this is product made in Japan. On the back of the box there is a profile drawing of the airbrush again with some description in Japanese which is more thorough this time but unfortunately not available in English so I can only guess what exactly it is there. It is self-explanatory more or less so anybody with some airbrush knowledge can get the picture here. Opening the outer packing we can find the plastic box and two sheets of instructions. The box is not posh as with Iwata or Harder and Stanback, but don't let that fool you. The first of the two sheets is a leaflet in both English and Japanese. It is foldable and in total there are six pages of information. Starting with the cutaway profile of the airbrush with thorough explanation what is what. We have an adapter for air supply can with installation guide something that I doubt anybody with such precision airbrush will choose as an air supply for his spray session. Nevertheless Mr. Hobby added that and of course it is followed by basic explanations of how PS270 works and how it can be regulated. The air valve beneath the color cup is a very important feature and for those who haven't used one this part of the instructions is mandatory. There is also maintenance information, suggestions and overall general familiarization with the tool. After that there is another 4 page leaflet, this time in Japanese only. Here however we have something closer to a comic book than to a tool guide. Even though only in Japanese pictures are self-explanatory and the information inside is made clear even for the kids. I found this useful even though I have years of airbrushing experience. Sometimes I refer to the instruction just to see am I on the right path with the solution of any troubleshooting that one might experience. It is nicely contemplated info sheet and definitely an unusual one. Good job from Mr. Hobby. Opening the box we can find the airbrush inside with the business end covered in plastic cap for protection, placed in a shape foaming insulation alongside the additional items featured in the set. Platinum PS270 comes with a wrench, hose and a connector for Mr. Air Can Air Supply. The hose and the connector are not with 1.8 fitting. The hose is like that on both of its sides and the airbrush itself come with a connector for that fitting. Removing it and we have the standard 1.8 beneath it of course. That airbrush connector is made from two parts with the seal and everything needed for a flawless work. However, this isn't something that I would use. Some of you might remember Revel cans that came in a set with their single action airbrushes. That was a nightmare from both technical and economical standpoints. Pressure was almost never equal since the can runs out every time you use it and on top of that was not cheap. So no, thank you. The airbrush itself is with decent weight, a little over 120 grams. For a tool with 10 milliliter cup with cover, this isn't bad at all. PS270 is with very nice appearance and one can tell that it is made in Japan since it is very attractive and shiny. The materials are far from cheap like we get with all those Chinese replicas available. 
It is polished and everything works smoothly. The tail stopper, the air regulator and the trigger. The cup is designed in a way that cleaning should be a breeze and the lid is made in the same way too. Inside of the cup it is clearly visible that the paint will have steady and easy flaw typical for most of the modern airbrushes of course. The trigger is with round bed for your finger without any cutaways dictating direction. The airbrush comes with the crown cap as a needle cover and lacking the standard one. That is another sign that Mr. Hobby planned PS270 to be a high precision airbrush. That of course and the air regulator. The needle features the standard attachment and removing and cleaning it is a breeze too. All in all, everything is similar to what we can expect from a conventional airbrush with a modern appearance. Now let's test it and see what this Platinum PS270 is capable of. Attachment that I will use replacing the setup that it comes with is a standard quick release that you can find for a couple of bucks and that will come handy if you are using two, three or more airbrushes simultaneously. For the paints I am about to test it with, well, I will use the latest on the market and this is Mission Models. They are with very high quality and spraying them is very satisfactory process. For the test I will use darkish color tint according to mission models guidelines and standard pressure of 14 to 15 psi. The day is rather dry but it is not a warm one. Trigger action of the PS270 is very smooth. From the get go the airbrush feels like an extension of your arm which is exactly how every airbrush should feel while being used. It is clearly visible that the lines are consistent and fine application of paint is straightforward process. The feel of the airbrush is definitely better compared to my main gun which is Iwata HPC Plus. It is close to what you get with Harder and Steenbeck Infinity without the flimsy trigger here. One thing that I found interesting is that the airbrush begs for precision. Of course, it can be used with larger applications, filling areas with paint and so on, but the tool is very precise and it somehow begs to be used in a delicate manner. It might be the pointy business end of it, but once you get it in your hand, it screams up close and personal please. What I experience with this airbrush is a pleasure of the painting process all around. The only flaw that I experience, and this isn't the airbrush but the weather mostly, is the drying tip after several minutes of work. That is quickly solvable, adding some pressure and applying full trigger action aside from your paint job of course, and with that instantaneously blowing out the potential clogging. And then everything works just fine again. Point 2 nozzle is small. But the airflow of PS270 is designed wonderfully, which definitely helps in such cases. From testing it, I discovered that PS270 is capable of fine lines and modeling even from a beginner. We all know that this is the hardest part of fair brushing and the one that requires attention, proper dilution and precision. Doing some test patterns with the Platinum quickly showed its true colors and I believe most of this is visible in the video. For longer session I would suggest soft brush to clean the tip every once in a while just for your own peace of mind. And that is if you use acrylics. Lacquers are a whole other story. Cleaning it after a session is almost a mandatory job for every airbrush user of course. Everything is straightforward like I said in the beginning. Removing the tail and then the needle gives you enough access for an in-between sessions clean. Not a thorough one, but rather a regularity. After flashing the airbrush with two or three cups of cleaner I almost never encounter troubles with the procedure of cleaning. 
What I usually do is check the needle while it is wet and if there is some residue, even a slight one, I get a wet cleaning material and take the needle through it with backwards motion. Always backwards for the safety of the tip. Here no paint residue is seen, which shows how nicely airbrush flows and how smooth the whole process is. If your airbrush isn't designed properly, flushing it won't clean it that good. Putting it back together is risky too, so be careful. I don't have spare parts for my PS270 and I intend not to buy any soon, so I am being extra cautious while getting through with the cleaning. Another place where you can get an idea on how good is the design of the airbrush is the crown cap cleaning. That is something that should be cleaned regularly too since in theory that is where any residue can be found and might disturb the flow partially which can lead to unwanted results. But this is only theory of course. I would suggest cleaning that after every session since it is less risky than removing the needle as long as you don't forget to pull out the trigger in its full backward motion to protect the needle tip while removing and then putting back the crown cap. Using a cotton swab will do the job or sometimes I dip it overnight in a jar with the cleaning solution which I always keep on my bench if I lack the time for cleaning the airbrush immediately after the session and assemble it back. So in general I think you can guess my conclusion. The airbrush is beautiful. It is cheap and still competitive to the high-end series of the competition. It is definitely a step up from my main gun which is HPC Plus from Iwata. More precision, better ergonomics, nicer flow here. If I knew that it was that good I would have jumped to that one from the get-go. Actually depending on where you get it, it can be up to 30% cheaper than the Iwata while in the same time it is a whole new level as a tool. This is a Japanese quality and as one might expect it is almost flawless. I know there are no true perfection but some things are really made in very close proximity to it. PS270 is one of them. Thank you for watching and don't forget to comment on this test review and share your airbrush and personal experience with your own tools. Hit the like button, subscribe and I will see you in the next one.